Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, this is part five of my summary or overview of my book, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, uh, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and share this video so that the whole world knows that the body is capable of healing itself of any disease, including cancer. So let's jump in, we're up to 135. The dangers of chronic dehydration. Um, the most important thing for your body is water, and the problem is people don't drink enough water. It's the number one reason why we have so much disease, is people are dehydrated. Uh, your, your cells are always chronically dehydrated. Very, very important you drink enough water. The health benefits of drinking water uh, is the next, and then the benefits of drinking water in an empty stomach. I mean, it's very good. First thing I do, wake up in the morning, drink water. People reach for a cup of coffee, the tea, sometimes a soft drink, something like that, or they just start eating something. They don't drink anything. Um, and it's important you get up. I mean, I have a big tall glass of water, and then I have another one. I've said a few times I never drink anything or eat anything usually till noon, and I keep drinking water. I don't usually eat anything until I've had at least a couple liters of water, and you never drink uh, more than one liter per hour. Uh, next is uh, healthy water, unhealthy water. I go through the scores, uh, the, the uh, different types of water, and, and rate them. Uh, purified water has got a health factor score of four. So purified water, which is reverse osmosis and distilled water, are exactly the opposite of ionized water in every way. So you want to stay away from purified water. Uh, it leaves you dehydrated. Uh, um, it, uh, it's, it leaches minerals from the body. It's really bad for you. Uh, it's only there for emergencies. That's the only time I'd ever drink purified water. Uh, tap water, if you filter it very well, you get a health score of six. It's usually most health, most tap water is usually pretty good. Uh, if you filter it well, take out all the chlorine. Uh, people, you know, you could even do fluoride. People complain about other things, but usually most municipal water is acceptable to drink as long as you f properly filter it. Uh, next is spring or mineral water. That's got a health score of seven. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. I mean, if I'm gonna go away, I usually um, take that with me. Uh, it's actually a seven, then a hydrogen stick. Um, that creates, um, uh, it's got all these different types of media in this little stick and you put it in your water and it gives you all the effects of ionized water. That's an eight and then alkaline ionized water, 10. 10 out of 10, it's the best water you could possibly drink. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it's the it's it's the top of the list and the healthiest thing you can possibly put about put into your body That's why I wrote the book uh, the miraculous properties of ionized water definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance And that's what alkaline ionized water. It is the healthiest substance you can possibly put into your body um, Then we're on to page 141 here. Uh, that's the bacterial virus cleanse now we get into the health protocol itself and what you're going to do to kill everything in your digestive tract and just start from scratch because if you're sick, if you got something like cancer, I guarantee you, you've got a lot of bad stuff going on in here. You've got bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus, and parasites more than likely. We want to clear all that out so we can kind of clear the blood and start from scratch, get you disinfected to begin, begin with. So the first one is uh, dissolved bioactive silicate. This is a type of uh, by a crystalline form of silicon. Uh, I actually own this product with somebody else and uh, it removes biofilm from the body and it removes uh, nanobacteria from inside the arteries which build up and, and look like plaque. Nanobacteria is about one-tenth the size of normal bacteria and it excretes calcium so it kind of hides from the immune system. This helps kind of create a sur surface won't won't stick anymore. Uh, the next one is silver pathogen killer. So that's what you use for your blood. So you want to wake up in the morning and you want to drink a bunch of water and then you want to take silver liquid angstrom silver it's the healthiest thing you can possibly um, do in the morning is take that silver and kill you know kill not only with what's in the digestive tract get, get the blood this is where the viruses live uh, yeast mold fungus can even live in the blood um, along with bacteria of course um, then we have uh, the next one is I mentioned root canal dangers I, I wouldn't get a root canal it shuts off your um, your body from the rest of uh, your immune system and um, and it, you know once you get that root canal I've had a couple I regret having those 
Um, I'm really careful about making sure if you do, I put silver down in, in there all the time. I mean, it just festers down there until you have another problem. So root canals, I, I kind of against those. There's a, there's a documentary out there called uh, The Root Cause. And, uh, you know, I mean, as soon as I got put out, the, the American Dental Association and a few other dentist organizations came out immediately, made it, made them take it off of Netflix. And, uh, you know, they just don't want the truth to come out about uh, root canals. Uh, the next is bismuth. Uh, what bismuth does is it kills everything in your digestive tract, things like H. pylori. That's what causes uh, stomach ulcers. So you really want, again, want, want to take that on an empty stomach. If you've just eaten something, you know, none of these things are going to do any good for you. Uh, you know, if you keep eating and eating and eating and you get an infectious disease, any kind of virus like this crazy virus going around now, the biggest, you know, the biggest virus we've ever seen in our lifetime, all this kind of, you just got to clear the blood and then get at it with silver. And, and be, but if you just keep eating and eating, this is the worst thing you can do if you're sick, if, especially with an infectious disease. So you want to clear it off and, and then take bismuth. That kills all, everything in the digestive tract. That's what they put in Pepto-Bismol, as a matter of fact. Um, Dr. Bob's Parasite Killer Cleanse. So that's what I do. Um, I want to take, I have 13 different powders. Uh, you keep taking um, this as the blend is, is the next one. Uh, Dr. Bob's Parasite Killer uh, Blend. 13 different powders that just kills everything in the digestive tract and uh, any kind of virus, bacteria. You know, some of them are really tough to get at. Uh, but what we're going to do when the, this is all over, we're going to repopulate it with the friendly bacteria, so don't worry about that. Um, and then uh, the, the water fast parasite cleanse prot protocol. So I talk about that. You need to be fasting. You need to stop eating. You need to take water. You can take electrolyte minerals. Electrolytes are like calcium, magnesium, potassium. Um, you know, sodium. That's what you want to make sure you got, uh, especially your heart mineral, that's, that's magnesium. Make sure you, you're taking some of that so you don't have a strain on your heart if you're fasting. But stop eating. People are just so fixated on food and they just think that's the key to health. You know, a lot of people, you always hear the, the Italian mother, mangia, 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 eat, 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 like that's health. Well, that's not health. Um, many meals, many diseases. I said that earlier. Um, next one down, down to page 149, the two most powerful foods in the, in the world, the p two most powerful food knowns. Oh, that's spirulina and chlorella. That's what I use for my protein. Next up, of course, is cancer-fighting superstars. That's what spirulina and chlorella are. They're two of the most powerful anti-cancer foods out there. And they're really the opposite of animal protein. So I'll tell you right up front, I mean, you want to get away from animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy completely if you've got any kind of serious disease, and in particular cancer. Uh, then I go through superstar chlorella. I talk about that, Sp superstar spirulina, uh, which is a cyanobacteria. Um, you know, chlorella is an algae. Uh, they are the most powerful foods in the world. They are carefully monitored. They're very well tested. Don't let anybody call them pond scum um, and get away with that because the, they're the two healthy healthiest foods in the world. Um, I look at, um, I, at at fast food joints. That's scum. That's real. That's real scum. Let me tell you something. Fast food is garbage. Um, and, uh, you know, animals thrive on them as well. Okay. So, you know, you can give them to animals. Uh, dogs and dogs love them. Uh, dogs will eat anything. Spirulina and chlorella. I would feed them that in a heartbeat. And same with uh, cats. Cats love chlorella. Um, and uh, then again, we go on to replacing animal protein with plant-based protein, and that's what you want to do here. Animal protein, all you're doing is eating the middleman, is kind of the way I look at it. You know, you're eating the animal that ate the plants. And why do we eat meat, fish, eggs, and dairy? Well, we're used to it, and we like the taste of it. We're used to having a burger. I mean, this is what we eat. We go, to the, we go out, we have a burger, and we have french fries, and this is what leads to disease. And this is why I don't eat these foods and why I'm so healthy at my age, 63. Um, next is um, animal toxicity. So the higher you eat on the food chain, the more serious the toxins are because they've accumulated all these toxins throughout their lives. So the higher, higher you eat up on the food chain, the more is biomagnification. We discussed that a little bit earlier. Uh, this high, high eating a high on the food chain. Well, I eat the plant world. That's the lowest you can be on the plant on the on the food chain, and it's the healthiest. Um, so. That's how you want to think of those in, in those terms. Next one is digestive health. 
prebiotics and, pro and probiotics. Um, and probiotics are the friendly bacteria and prebiotics are fermented foods such as kimchi or, or, or sauerkraut. Um, or, you know, it's very easy to salt and water and some vegetables and let it sit there for a few days. That's a fermented food. It's very easy to do and incredibly healthy foods. You should include them in your diet all the time. I have them all the time. Um, probiotics, I have every single day, that's the friendly bacteria. There's all sorts of different strains. Usually the most popular ones are Acidophilus and Bifidus, but there are probably, you know, there's hundreds of different types of really healthy bacteria. However, uh, there's about, about really about 15 that we really focus on that we know uh, do uh, do really great things in the body and really are meant for our digestive uh, uh, health and all disease comes from our diet so probiotics now that you've killed everything in your digest digestive tract now you want to put back the healthy bacteria that's that's really important it's what we call you know people popularize, popularize this word microbiome this is a word that didn't even exist really five years ago but now everybody's microbiome so this is you know you're, this is what's going on inside your your digestive tract and if you're eating fried foods, fast foods, processed foods, it destroys all that. You know, people get so, you know, they're, they're, they'll talk about my health protocol and this killing everything in the digestive tract. What, you know, and isn't that dangerous? What do you think McDonald's does? What do you think fried foods does? Fried foods just kill everything down there. You want to stay away from that stuff, folks. Um, you know, how to ferment foods, I go into that very briefly, it's very easy to do, digestive enzymes. People will say, well, you know what, you are what you eat. Well, actually, you are what you can assimilate. So if you don't have the enzymes, the digestive enzymes to break it, break down um, all, all the carbohydrates and all the, you know, the protein you put into your body and everything, you're not going to digest those foods at all. You're just going, they're just going to pass through your body. You've got to get the digestive enzymes in there to really do the job. Um, and then there's something called enzyme theft. And what enzyme th theft is, you know, you're constantly, uh, you know, using your uh, enzymes and they're never replaced. You don't live on a healthy diet. You know, enzymes are kind of like a bank account. You're just constantly making withdrawals until you have none left. And everything we do is enzymic reactions. You think, you talk, you walk, you blink, all that is enzymes. So it's very, very important that we, uh, you know, we constantly put foods that have enzymes in, our, in, in them, well, that's raw fruits and vegetables. Um, and next is uh, the, the healing power of enzymes. Um, and they are incredibly healing. Um, and we're going to get into those because systemic enzymes such as serapeptase or serapetase, if you, however you want to pronounce it, or natokinase, these are systemic enzymes, system enzymes. So they work, they don't really digest your food, but you take them on an empty stomach uh, and they get down to the lower GI. Uh, the serapeptase is enteric coated, meaning it'll survive the stomach acid, get into the bloodstream and reduce inflammation. Very, very important, good for prostate health, good for menstrual cramps in women. So um, very, very important that you get uh, systemic enzymes. I take some, I take serapeptase every single day. I don't miss it. Um, and we get into systemic enzymes and re reducing that inflammation. Inflammation is the big killer. And the next one is the silent killer within. That's inflammation. You don't realize you have it because in, in many cases, there's two types of inflammation. There's, there's uh, acute inflammation, which hurts. Your shoulder hurts. You get a bee stung, sting or something like that. Uh, and then there's silent inflammation. You don't even know it's there. And, and it really is a killer. It, it just makes your whole body not operate to its capacity and, and just makes it uh, so it's just kind of uh, floating along and really not operating uh, the way it ought to so um, you know it just inflation inflammation is is the big killer and the next one is serapeptase a systemic enzyme workhorse well again I just mentioned that it goes down to the lower GI, GI and they just really reduce this inflammation throughout the body very very important you put those into your into your diet and again if you got cancer this is where you want to start with these things these are all natural they don't interfere with any kind of medications but always remember something fat folks foods don't interfere with medications Food, medications interfere with foods drugs interfere with foods drugs have been on the planet here for what how long 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and foods interfere with them? No, they interfere with all sorts of different foods. Well, I'm going to stop right there for now. Uh, we got a couple more of these to do. Uh, just a general overview of my new book, The Cure in the Mirror, uh, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. Please remember to subscribe and like and share this video so that the whole world knows the body can cure itself of any disease, even cancer. Dr. Bob, see you next time.